What's up everybody, welcome to Podcast Now PS Edition. I am Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about a leak that gave out uh, Little Hope, the Dark Pictures game, Little Hope's uh, release date. So this comes from PlayStation Universe. Let's read over this and let's kind of talk about if I believe it, if it sounds like a good idea, all that kind of stuff. German retailer uh, Saturn, who I believe is, this is uh, this retailer I believe has leaked out stuff in the past or prematurely put out release dates, so I feel like I've seen that name before, has seemingly leaked the Dark Pictures Little Hope release date on on its website, claiming the second installment in Supermassive Games Horror Series will arrive on June 15th. Previously, publisher Bandai Namco uh, Games only attached a summer 2020 window to the game. Uh, it also, the, li the listing also contains some basic details on the game, which reads as follows. Little Hope is the second game in the Dark Pictures anthology. Four college students and their teacher find themselves trapped and isolated in the abandoned town of Little Hope. There they will try to flee from nightmarish appearances which will pursue mercilessly from the impenetrable fog. Welcome to Little Hope. Witness the scary visions of the past shaped by the witch trials and Salem in the 17th century. Escape the nightmarish apparitions that your team relentlessly pursue before dragging your souls to hell. Play online with a friend or up to five friends online. Share your story and collaborate uh, cleverly to save your team. Now, that's actually, there's some there's some info there. Now, let's first talk about the release date. I think this makes sense. I think when we've talked about it before, I don't remember if I've actually given like my release date predictions, but when you come, when you say summer, and I've said this before with other games, SpongeBob, uh, Destroy All Humans, a lot of other stuff, uh, summer normally means June or August. It does, I mean, July, you can just immediately, I think, write off. Now, again, as I've always said, because I figure one day people are going to say or will try to call me out. And so I always like to throw it in there as like because I am aware July is a dead month. You, it doesn't mean you can't have games out. Last year, Nintendo destroyed it. They put out games uh, in July and they absolutely nailed it. Um, so they they've I guess they can put out games whenever they want and they'll do well. Um, but normally late June, we saw that with Crash Team Racing last year. We saw that with Super Mario Maker. Two last year. Um, this year we're seeing Ghost of Tsushima on what June 26, so very very late June. Um, and so like that's late June is a really good time, basically really any time in June. And we've seen that going back years and years. The other Crash Crash and Saint trilogy came out around that time. Batman Arkham Knight came out, I believe June 25th. So there's there's some familiarity there with games releasing in June that do really well. And so June 15th makes a lot of sense. Uh, again, it's a game that you either come out in June or you come out in August and Really, like we talked about with like what's going on with this game, um, it's it should have been in February. I mean, if you want to follow their six month trail, it should have been February, and then in August we should have got the next one. And so coming out in June, that's almost a full year. It's ten months uh, after Man of Medan. So that's you know they're already kind of failing on their every uh, six month promise because there's no way they're going to have another game come out in August. So I feel like now we're in a yearly release cycle, and we'll have to see if they can even do it for six more games. That so that is an alarm part that's maybe something you can read between the lines or re uh, read behind the scenes but June 15th I think is a really really solid date um, just all around I think it is a real June can be a good month you know we have April being a really good month for games we are in March and that's a really good month for games uh, May has the last of us but pretty much that's it and then June goes to Tsushima but again that's pretty much it so even if you're not a PlayStation uh, gamer you there's really not that much happening until September with Avengers and Cyberpunk so this makes a lot of sense I think it works really really well uh, uh, the the info to this game sounds really cool. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I, I played Man of Medan by myself. I did not play it online. I didn't use the online uh, you know abilities to it. Although I, I think a lot of people really enjoyed it. They definitely made that a point to show that people enjoyed it, and that is a really good way of playing it. Remember they did that. Even the trailer, I believe, for Little Hope, they included that part in it. Play with up to five friends online. So it's four people uh, and then also your teacher so four college students and their teacher so five people uh, is I think isn't that the exact same amount of people that were in man of Medan five or six and then you can play with up to five friends online so can you all control a different person now my question is again and you, you can answer me if I'm wrong or if I'm right or whatever could you do that in man of Medan or wasn't it you could only play with one other person and you control just the other because you were always basically in groups of two with man of Medan you were rarely in groups of more than two and so you would play 
play as each person. Now again, correct me. Yeah, I could. I mean, it's been a long time since I played that game, and again, I didn't even play it multiplayer wise. But I think that's a cool thing playing up to five. So you and four others. That's a really really cool feature. And again, I mean the the description goes with what we were kind of all saying about this game. So it seems to be like ghosts. It seems to be thing like uh, supernatural elements, which is really cool. So you know, uh, until dawn didn't really have that. Obviously had the windigos and stuff like that, and obviously like the real killer or, or Josh for the most uh, for the first half of it. Um, but we didn't really get, you know, we didn't get ghosts, we didn't get supernatural stuff. Um, Man of Medan, we kind of did. I mean, I don't even know what you would call them, zombies? Is that, like, the closest thing you could say? But again, like, they were, like, apparitions because of the, uh, uh, because of, like, the chemical basically going on, right? So, they've never actually done a thing where, like, okay, this is, like, the Salem Witch Trial, 17, so, like, these are people that have died, these are, like, their ghosts haunting the areas, like, witches and stuff like that. Uh, so, like, this could be really, really cool because, if they're real, but they're not really real. Like, we've never seen this from them before. And Supermassive, you know, again, they they took some steps backwards, I think, with Man of Medan. I don't know if they can regain, and that's something we can definitely talk about. Can they regain that momentum with this game? I think they can. I'm not expecting it. I'm not, like, I'm not like, expecting the greatest thing in the world. I'm not expecting it until dawn with this game. Honestly, if anything, Man of Medan lowered my expectations, and now I'm kind of just expecting, you know, good time, four or five hours, a couple scares, a solid story, hopefully with better characters. That's really all I'm expecting. But if they can do this supernatural approach to it, it can be very, very different. Honestly, it can be different from anything they've ever done. And truly, that could be like a breath of fresh air because they haven't had that over the last couple of years, and this could bring it to them. So even that, that, that is exciting. I, I feel like that alone does get me more excited with this game where we can now uh, expect ghosts, things that aren't really there. But again, how do you do that? Is there something else at play? Or is, is there going to be another chemical making them see it? I'm, I'm, obviously, that's a joke. I hope that's a joke. They better not do that a second time. Uh, but that is, you know, again, going with what the issues I have with these eight games is, and, and I don't want to make this whole video about that, but that is a problem because you can't have necessarily the same scare tactics. You can't have the same uh, whatever horror uh, ideas you want to have that are scaring us. You can't have them be the same. So again, you had Windigos and basically a human killer in Until Dawn, and then Man of Medan, you had, again, this kind of mystery where it's like, well, is something going on here? Are they really like, are these people like decaying and becoming like these zombified creatures? Or, you know, is it something else? And it was that something else. So now you can't do those two things again, right? Unless you make a sequel to like Until Dawn or Man of Medan. But like, you wouldn't do it to Man of Medan. You'd only do it to Until Dawn. Uh, so it, it's going to be interesting. It honestly is. But I'm excited for this game. Uh, honestly, I was actually thinking about making another video on this game like a few days ago, before, like without any news to go off of. I was just going to have like a discussion video on it. Uh, so this is definitely. Definitely exciting news. I am looking forward to it. I would absolutely play it day one, do the same kind of stuff I did with Man of Medan. You know, I'm going to try and support these guys. I think these guys are earn it, I have earned it, and hopefully will continue to. Yes, they took a couple steps back, um, but I'm hoping they can they can get back on the right footing um, with little hope. So, guys, let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Do you think the release date is right? Do you think June 15th is the time we're going to see this? And what do you think about those details? How do you think they can use those supernatural, you know, like, like ghost elements um, to their advantage? Let me know. Make sure you guys subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when these videos go up. And again, uh, I do a new video on this channel every single day. So you can always expect a new video the next day, okay? Thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you all on the next video.